Hi everyone and welcome to Bikini Design Club once more. Today we will be sewing a bikini pattern top heli. Well, this is a very racy uh, sport top uh, and this is part of our newest designs. So today we will be sewing it. Never mind that I have my own annotations because this is still my test pattern. My, my final test pattern so never mind in your pattern you will find all the information that um, you need to place your pattern on your fabric so let's start by uh, cutting our fabric uh, the supplies for this uh, top are always the same so you need to cut your fabric so you use a cutter or a scissor if you want you need pins you also need some clips a small scissor and of course the rubber elastic. I use 6 mm rubber elastic and my seam allowances are included in with 8 mm. This means that of course we will cut a little bit, maybe 1 mm or 2 from our um, seam allowance and our elastic is 6. So let's start cutting our fabrics. I will be using this as my main fabric. I love this blue fabric this is from I bought this this is from Carvico fabrics and I bought this one it's life recycled it's recycled nylon so uh, usually for my tests I always use recycled fabrics uh, and I bought this uh, through funkyfabrics.com or .uk I'm not sure sorry uh, but uh, I usually do some on my Facebook sometimes I put their um, uh, I share their their information so I'm gonna use the fold from the pattern here uh, and you will have the grain line so it's uh, also good for you to uh, place your but in this case the grain line is also the fold line so I will place my fabric with the fold line a line here and I will cut we will cut all the fabrics uh, and then we will start sewing things that I want to share about cutting your fabric. It would be uh, a temptation for me to cut my strap like this so that I uh, save fabric but don't forget the grain line of your fabric. The stretch, the greater stretch should, should be horizontally uh, so uh, and the grain line is vertical. The pattern will have a grain line so don't forget to put the grain line um, vertically so opposite to your uh, to your greater stretch and so uh, please uh, do not save fabric cut your uh, your uh, straps and all your pieces taking into consideration the direction of the fabric then another detail is sometimes you see me cutting without uh, pinning my pattern to my fabrics this is because I already know how my um, fabric behaves when I'm cutting and also because uh, I'm very used to do this, so I usually do not pin my fabric uh, to my pattern. But if you want, you can p pin to make sure it's in place and then you cut. I decided to cut my fabrics in blue and black. I love this mixture of blue and black. Uh, so I think I will even use this top uh, on both sides. Uh, I love this mix, blue and black. So let's start preparing our pattern. So our uh, top back piece we can place right sides facing together and we can pin the, the neck hole and the sides. For the front we also choose our main uh, sides in both of the fabrics because one of them is a little different from the other so you must see which side uh, is your right side and we will pin the darts on both of them uh, to sew. So let me show you what I've done. My back straps, right sides facing together, pinned and pinned. 
do not spin the sides so we will sew this with elastic uh, on our back strap this is our uh, top strap like this for the back with this here okay also pinned right sides facing together sew the sides sew the neck sew the sides on both straps and the darts and we'll be back So now that we've done uh, all the sewing that uh, we planned, I'm tying some small knots on the end of my darts. How do I sew my darts? Uh, a lot of our tops include darts for better fitting. So I'm going to explain you once more, but this is uh, almost everywhere on our uh, patterns that have uh, darts. Well, uh, I sew the dart half a centimeter from the edge and then when I'm uh, very very near the edge of the fold of the fabric I go straight ahead three or four stitches more and then I release my needle and I leave my threads I do not do reverse stitch and now I just tie two knots here secure securing this thread and I cut the excess and I do this not only for my main for my outer uh, fabric but I also do exactly the same for my uh, uh, lining. Uh, this is because you want the two pieces to be exactly the same and to fit exactly the same way. So don't be lazy and <laughs> don't do this only on your outside fabric or it will show on the fitting once the garment is ready. So now that, that we have uh, both our fronts ready, let's see what I did here. So this is one, um, this is baby powder that is on my elastic I used I don't have elastic it's very hard to find the elastic here in Portugal I only have one centimeter rubber elastic and six millimeters so uh, on these straps the ones that cross on the back I use the one centimeter because I want to try this to be a little bit steady uh, and I do I did the same on the other strap and then for the back straps I used an elastic that I had uh, it's actually for laundry uh, but I wanted to try so if you have a wider elastic on these uh, larger straps and also on the straps in front you should use your wider elastic but I really don't have it so I uh, I'm working with what I have and it's very hard as I told you to find that here in Portugal so I on my top part of my strap I placed this uh, wider elastic and on the bottom part I placed my regular elastic let's see how it, how this uh, turns in the end I, I did the same here I'm gonna cut and then this is our top back piece with elastic I also give some um, cuts on the elastic I believe that um, you are not supposed to to do this because it can rip the elastic but when I have curves usually I do this so it's not the correct way to do it I mean technically I uh, I've learned that it's not correct correct to do this but I want my uh, garment to fit better and so I do it uh, anyway so you you decide what you want for yourself now with our front uh, two front pieces ready we will place them facing up with our uh, lower strap we fold the strap like this we pin the strap to the top along all this edge we do this for this fabric for the outer fabric and also for, for the second fabric for the lining we do the same we sew on our sewing machine placing elastic and we'll be back so here uh, are my top pieces I don't know if you've noticed when I was sewing this my uh, fabric flying 
uh, maybe you didn't see it it's because i have my window open and it's so windy that my fabric was flying well it's uh, a very warm day and if i don't uh, open my windows i will be uh, it's very hard so right sides facing together okay so you will face the seams to you so right sides facing together uh, we will now i also tried this uh, elastic here we will pin the the neck uh, the neck the cleavage and also uh, under the arm so before going to my front part i'm going to focus on my back so i'm going to reverse these two top uh, bot, uh, back straps they are, will be like this right so i will want to contrast the fabrics in the back so let's reverse the two uh, back straps because we will have to we could have left this open so it's easier for us to insert uh, the straps because we will need once they are on the right side we will need to insert them and align them here and sew them and since we will be sewing two plus two plus two four uh, six layers of fabric uh, and this is a tricky part uh, probably the best is for you not to sew these parts so it's easier for us to do this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these parts uh, these threads out so this will be open on the neck back and we will do it so I'm not going to do the straps in black on the black side and I'm gonna tell you why because I applied the elastic I always apply the elastic on my main fabric and I apply the elastic on the blue side so I will keep the blue and everything will be blue on one side so once I've reversed place your uh, uh, the contrasting fabrics like this because you will want this to be sewn like this right so when you insert this inside here your blue is facing your blue okay so you align one of them and then you do like this you insert and you align the other one and pin so this is optional but before i insert the second stripe i don't want this one to move from where i've placed her so i'm gonna do some stitches to make sure that my strap stays exactly where i want it to be uh, there's a little bit uh, the edge is sticking out so it's fine so it's aligned and this will disappear once i will go to my sewing machine and i will trim so this uh, is in white it's not a problem i will uh, leave it in white no so that's why i didn't change my thread to black so i'm gonna do the same on this side i'm gonna secure and once i do this i will be ready to insert uh, this one now that i have one of my straps secure uh, before i insert this one on my on my other piece I will uh, do a, a small stitch on each edge to make sure that the fold is properly uh, folded <laughs> so because I really want this to be the most perfect that I can okay so this is secure and now this will disappear once you sew it on the machine so it's fine and I, I sew very near the edge so fold the fabric Keep it, keep it in place and sew a little bit on the edge of the fabric just to keep the fold as you want the fold to be. You can even go to your sewing machine if you want to and sew an entire stitch uh, to stabilize this uh, edge, all this edge, uh, but I think this is enough. So now I'm going to insert it here and I'm going to pin all of them together, so six layers of fabric. I'm always learning just like you so what what uh, did I learn here I learned that the best way to do this is before inserting the straps uh, inside uh, the top parts of your back uh, probably the best way is if you if you sew them together that's what I was doing if you sew them together aligning the aligning the edges 
uh, at least you are sure that the two of them are aligned between them and then when you insert them inside your uh, top back they will be perfect so I'm gonna remove the pin I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna align only the the, the, the straps I'm gonna pin them I'm going to my straight stitch machine and very near the edge, I'm going to do a, a, a stitch just to combine the two, piece, the two pieces together, so the four layers. I'm going to do a stitch here and then I will insert it here. So let me show you in detail. Uh, so instead of doing the stitches by hand as I was doing here with my white uh, thread, uh, go to your uh, straight stitch machine and uh, secure both straps together using a straight stitch and straight ahead uh, sew them. Now we will insert this inside our uh, top back piece and we will sew them together. Since I don't, I, this area is already going to be a bit bulky because of the layers, so as I don't want it to be bulkier, uh, I will then sew a little bit more uh, then I sewed these two, so this, these are three millimeters from the edge. I will sew them with like five millimeters um, and then I will still trim. So let's go to the straight stitch machine and using a, a elastic stitch, sorry, <laughs> so, uh, so straight ahead. I always do a diagonal securing the threads from my overlock because I will trim and I don't want to leave them without finish. So I always do a diagonal on each side securing these threads and also all across. So as you can see I've sewn this twice because I want to make sure that this is secure. And now uh, I'm going to trim the excess fabric and the excess elastic to try to leave this as clean as possible once it's reversed to the right side. So this is connected fine. So now we will connect the back uh, smaller straps to these ends. To these ends. So now that our top uh, back part is ready these straps will be here and both of them will connect to the front of the top. Uh, so for now I will leave them waiting and we'll go to take care of the front. So remember we unpicked this area so we need to uh, remake uh, sewing it again. So you can tuck your straps inside and uh, sew again as we have done before. Uh, here on the neck and then we will be able also to, since we are going to the sewing machine we also um, can make the top where wherever we have pinned so cleavage and under the arm If you were wondering why I have these pins here, it's just a way that I have to secure the straps inside and to leave this perfect for sewing. So that's the only reason why I have my, um, my pins here. Now reverse the entire piece to the right side through one of the holes. And here we have our back almost ready. Now with our front uh, ready, we will insert our back inside our front. We will need to secure both straps. Um, I'm thinking this is not easy. Yeah, but we can do it. So uh, we will insert this one on one side, we sew and then we pull, we put it like this and we do the same on the other sides.
So let's go to the sewing machine and secure this one again, straight stitch, elastic stitch and a little bit diagonal so we can trim. Done. So now let's trim the excess fabric. And one of the sides is ready. Another thing that I always do is I trim my uh, edges of the elastic. Uh, I know that the elastic is supposed to go until the end of all your swimwear, just until the end, but I never do that because of the bulkiness that gives. I prefer seeing a little bit of elastic sticking out than having bulky uh, uh, combinations when you are combining back with front and whatever. So this is an option if you want to do it uh, continuously until the end, you do it. So. I don't do it and this is the way I do it and I'm just sharing my way. So now that my front, uh, one of the sides is ready, uh, let's uh, prepare the other one. So we will just need to grab, oh sorry you were with Zoom all this time, sorry. So here I, I was talking about trimming these edges, you see, <laughs> sorry. Uh, now uh, we will grab this part, so our other back part, and we will insert this one again as we just did on this side. Make sure it is not twisted when you sew it, so uh, it will not be ruined. Okay, so just align and do exactly what we have just done on the other side. So now let's trim as we did before on the other sides. And our back is uh, already attached to our front. I'm going to cut all the threads that are around. So clean your piece. And we will get almost ready to combine the sides. So now let's do the sides. So how are we going to do the sides? The strap is going to be aligned here on top. You align this strap here, the back strap, you align it here. So you will be sewing over four layers of fabric, okay? So you, so you align the strap here and you have to fold your main fabric, so right sides facing together again and we will have to pin and secure all of this. I'm gonna do some uh, hand stitches to make sure that this stays exactly where I want. Then the side, uh, this small strap, we will reverse it to the right side and see that this one has an angle and this one has an angle too, like this. So this is on the right side, right sides facing together. You will match this here. But since we haven't sewn the bottom part of our uh, top, what I will do to make it easier is I will align this one and then I will do just a little bit here because I want to put my hands uh, to, to tuck in all the, all the pieces. So I'm just going to uh, sew a little bit here. That will allow me to insert this uh, strap and everything will be perfectly aligned. Okay? So I went to my sewing machine and just sewed a little bit on each side to make it easier for me to make sure that all my uh, straps, the back parts is uh, correctly inserted on my front. So I'm gonna pin and uh, hand stitch all the sides, so this one as I told you and this one with the, the angle matching the angle of the bottom of the front. So matching angles, insert this inside here and this one matching.
So now let's sew under the bust and the sides. So I used my straight stitch machine with the elastic stitch again, I secured a diagonal uh, all the threads here and here and now we can uh, trim the excess fabric and we will choose a place to open a small hole and reverse the entire piece. So with my uh, second fabric, my lining facing up, I'm going to choose a place to open a small hole that I will have to close later. So I think this, se this seam is good. So I'm going to just open a small hole here and um, reverse the entire piece through that hole and then we will close the hole. Just to let you know, if you want, please uh, subscribe our YouTube channel to keep uh, following our tutorials. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, and uh, if you have questions also, of course. And I hope you enjoyed our video and come back soon. Stay with me until the end so you can see the final result in a few seconds. So we still need to uh, secure uh, our back. I'm gonna use a clasp, uh, but if you want, you can make this uh, longer and tie a knot or whatever your preference is. I'm gonna put a clasp here and then I'll try it on and take some pictures to share with you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye! So I'm placing my clasps. I'm not going to sew them yet because I uh, first I need to test on myself and check uh, it, the exact size uh, so I'm not being very thorough uh, while securing this but once you uh, have your uh, size uh, defined you just and this is as you can see the strap is a little bit smaller than it should be but uh, for this what what we do is we fold the the ends of the fabric inside so it stays beautiful and then you fold it like this and you pin and you sew from one side to the other and this will make a, a nice finish for now I'm just testing so it's not important just uh, also wanted to tell you that uh, if you tie a bow uh, this will be reversible if you don't uh, if you are doing like I'm doing, then you will have to wear it on only one, one side. So let's try it on and share the pictures with you guys.